this great miracle, the feeding of the 5,000 with five loaves and two fish, this great miracle is pointing us in the Gospel of John toward the sublime mystery of the Holy Eucharist. Jesus not only giving us bread for our bodily sustenance, but giving himself to be our food so that we might be transformed, so that we might become more and more like unto him, that in our weak and broken humanity, we might bear within ourselves the radiant light of his divinity and so become more and more the persons that we were created to be, made in the image and likeness of God, called to bring the light and the love of Christ into this world. We're talking here of divine mystery, and that brings us to our saint of the day, Saint Catherine of Siena, great mystic, visionary, and doctor of the church. In Saint Catherine, we find a woman of profound love for God, and in this love, this desire for true intimacy with the fullness of the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, it is this that allowed Catherine to receive a multitude of graces in this life. Most significantly, the grace of a deep and proper discernment, understanding of the things of God. She was gifted with the ability to enter into the great mystery of God. In other words, she was touched at the very heart with the profundity of the love of God for all of God's beloved children. What is it that allows any human person to enter more deeply into the mystery of God. Above all else, above intelligence or academic accomplishment, above all theological training or talent of any sort, that which allows us to enter into the mystery of God is the desire to love God above all else. And it is here that Catherine of Siena shows us her greatness. For she was a great lover of Christ. If we can learn anything from the great saints of God, it is what Catherine of Siena shows us, namely, Holiness begins and ends with the fervent desire for humble, loving, and intimate relationship with God in Christ Jesus. If we desire this, we will indeed bear within ourselves the marks of divinity as did Catherine of Siena. We will indeed be the persons that God has created us to be. We will, like Catherine, live in loving relationship with God and with one another. And because of this, our world that is so often cast in the shadows of darkness, our world will begin to see a glorious horizon will become, by the grace of God, transformed and made new. This world will be made radiant as it was in the beginning, radiant 
with the light and the love and the peace of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May God bless you all.